Thursday. Welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. 24 minutes later than what we intended. No, 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 we're early. We went six we're, minutes early. We're early, Becca. Six minutes early. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Miss Rachel Webb is also an owner and craft educator. She is the reason we're 26 minutes late this morning. Well, are, are, are you kidding? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, our tech expert saved our life and apparently the future of all of our streams because we're idiots. We being both of us, I'm not going to blame just Rachel because uh, I also didn't uh, notice it. The, the important part is that we did get it. Fred did get it fixed. Um, and I so don't want to talk about it. It's fine. And he's also going to fix some other stuff for us. So that's exciting. Which means thank you, Fred. Yes. Yeah. Um, Fred, you're welcome. welcome. Put it in any chair you'd like. My chair is right there. It's very comfy. The green one, of course, it's the best color there is. <sighs> Today we are going to be making some Christmas cards. I want to show you how easy it is to design your own file or cards using Oak and Lamb cut files. So if you are an Oak and Lamb member, then you already have access to all of the files that are on the website, and you can download them create however you want and make really cute custom cards. So how many of you all create and send out Christmas cards every year? I love it. It's one of my favorite things. Fred's raising his hand, but he has never sent a card in his life. Um, I love getting them too. I, I run to the, the mailbox every single day when it starts being Christmas card season. Like December 1st, I generally get my first one. And then it's so fun to open. How them. many do you normally get? Around Becca? 30. Okay. Around 30. Um, I absolutely love it. Christy says she's fangirling on you right now, Fred. That's funny. Um, anyway, and so when I'm creating a card, a lot of times, mo you know, most of us will go to the websites, whether that be Shutterfly or, or Miller's or Walgreens. Please don't use Walgreens. The print quality is whatever. Um, any of those types of... Uh, printing companies and then you just you know pull up your own picture in a pre-done like template that designers have created and that's amazing the problem is for me is that I like to to send out unique things I don't want to send out a design that somebody else has sent out and uh, because I am a graphic designer and because I like to make custom things um, I, I can do that so I get an idea in my head and um, personally create the cut file because I love to do that. If you want to create cut files too, we do have an illustrator course for you. Check that out. Um, but I have been um, this morning designing here in Illustrator. So that's what we're going to be doing today is designing a card in Illustrator. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is to print and cut with your Cricut machine, whether that is the Explore Series machine, the uh, Maker, the Joy Extra now does print and cut. So that's mm -hmm. awesome. Um, the Venture would be really nice because you could cut out several at one time. Yeah, yeah. Depending on what size you want. So uh, we're going to be in Illustrator today. I'm going to give you a little bit of education in Illustrator. You can also use Inkscape or Canva or Design Space or whatever design software that you want to use. I just prefer Illustrator. I want to give you a little bit of a taste of what the Illustrator course will look like if you are interested in creating your own cut file. So, um, is there anything else that we need to go over, Rachel, before we get started? Yeah, uh, start telling them how f how much fun they're going to have on New Year's Eve. Oh, I should have brought it down here. You should have. Also, we need to pick a time. We don't know what time. Yeah, so we're going to be here. We're having our New Year's Eve celebration here at Rachel's anyway. And then we were like, you know what, since we're going to be here, let's just do a New Year's Eve live. And it's it's going to be totally fun. It's all yeah, games. We, we thought, because, you know, our last for Black Friday, we didn't have any that you all just kind of horse laugh at. We, we normally throw some in there, some yes. kind of comedy So this is stuff. all pure entertainment. This is only that. You're probably not going to learn anything. You might learn some new cuss words. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But you're not going to learn anything about crafting. Yeah. So imagine yes. three eight foot inflatable unicorns on set. Co correct. And that is just going to set the precedence for the entire live, yes. right? We're gonna we're gonna attempt to do the whole thing in those costumes. We're we're gonna try. We're gonna see how that goes. Hungry hungry hippo with hooves. Hooves. I mean, so much fun. Moves in the anyway, New Year's Eve, let us know what time works great. for you all. Because i got to be honest, I'm not really a late night person. I'm thinking like maybe 8, 8 o'clock, Rachel? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we can't do it late, late. No. Like, yeah. 
It's going to be six, a six, seven, eight. This yeah. is Eastern time. Let me know yeah. what you all think. We'll also put a poll over in the private Facebook group. It's so going to be hysterical. I'm envisioning that. like little cups of uh, all different. I'm going to make either Becca or Anna. I think I'm going to make Anna do this because she'll be more dramatic about it, which I'm, I think would be funnier. But we're talking like little cups, and you don't know what they are, the people who's drinking them, right? And they're not going to be like gross, just stuff that you have to pick. So there's going to be like milk, orange juice, pi pickle juice. We vinegar. Might, with vinegar. We might throw some nasty stuff in there. But just gonna just stuff like that, just to be funny. Yeah. We're see how it goes. I don't send out cards because I never get any bad crystal. You have the wrong friends then. Dude. That is so sad. Uh, that's sad. It took me a few years to get some back. I have to admit it did. The okay. first couple of years I had kids, I sent out a card for everything. I'm talking Valentine's Day, Easter, Thanksgiving, because everybody needed to see my kid, well, right? Of course. Right. Okay. So now that we've gone over all of that, let's jump over into Illustrator. What? Nothing. Fred's being weird. Did you say a bad word? No. I think there's a piece of leather in that felt thing if you want to look in that right here on this table. Okay. Um, so this is what we're going for. Something like this. I didn't really finish it. See my snowflakes here. But I'm going to show you how to do this. So first of all, we're going to come over into Illustrator. Can we talk about the model in this photo? We, we will in a minute. The, yeah. the red-headed Barbie uh, bombshell. Where did we find her? I don't know. But she's <laughs> underpaid and underappreciated. <laughs> Most uh, Christmas cards that you send out are five by seven. So that's what I'm going to make this one. So I'm just going to come over here and press new so that we have a new artboard. And it is set to inches and we're going to make it five by seven. So we have a clean, fresh slate here. And then the next thing that I want to do is just create my the back of my card. So we'll start with that, right? So to do that, I'm just going to come over to basic shapes, my rectangle tool can click anywhere and then um, five by seven. That's what I want, right? And now I can change the color. It's gonna be like a mustardy goldish color and we can fine tune this in a little bit. Um, we'll see how it goes. Just whatever colors you want. And right now it has stroke turned on. See how it's got that line around it? I don't want that. So let's decrease that so that it goes away over here also if you are an illustrator and yours does not look like this the um workspace that i use go to windows workspace i use the essentials workspace so if you're trying to follow along or learn from me make your illustrator look like mine it will make your life a whole lot easier so now with this selected i'm going to center it vertically and horizontally and then i'm going to start designing so i have somewhere a Christmas ornament this is on the website let's go wow yeah right here to the website and I'm going to type in ornament and see what comes up there's one that I have created for use with the Glowforge um, but I'm going to use it for this I think it's on the third page yeah, Christmas ornament. So go ahead and download that. I already have mine downloaded. It's not going to let me. Hold on. Download. Download. Here it is. So it comes in a zip file. You just double click to open it. And then this just has the SVG version. So what all I'm going to do is drag and drop it here in Illustrator. Just like this. Copy it and paste it into this artboard because if you open up an SVG in Illustrator, it opens it up in a new artboard. So what I want to do for just for aesthetics is disconnect this part right here from the actual bulb of the ornament. And to do that, I'm just going to, you can do it so many different ways. This is my favorite way to do it. I'm going to grab the uh, pen tool and just make some anchors here. And I'll put one anchor here, one anchor here and then kind of just cover this. This is similar to slicing that we do in Design Space. Before I slice though, I want this to be curved up. So I'm gonna grab my curvature tool, pull it up a little bit, just like that. And then I want to duplicate this because if I were to go ahead and slice this off, 
I have both layers selected and I'm going to come over to the Pathfinder tool where it says click to minus front and it will basically slice off the top. And because I want the top, I duplicated it so that I can do the opposite now. I'm going to um, click to intersect so that I can save this right here. Now I can kind of pull this up here and have a cute little ornament. So let's pull that over here, make this a little bit smaller, and we can arrange the size in a little bit. Next, I want to go ahead and grab the photo that I'm going to be using. Here, we are going to use this picture. These were pictures that we had taken still in the house. Look how cute he is, look at that baby. Hold on, let me I love the look bit. on his face. Look. Oh gosh, look at him. Oh my. Oh. There was a better one, but it didn't it's fit. It's the cheeks for me. Look at his face here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I Becca. know, sweet baby boy. Okay, so I'm gonna size this down here. And what I want to do so that I can easily see where the placement is on this is pull this to the front. So I'm gonna right click on it and press arrange, bring to front. And then I still can't see where I am, right? So let's go ahead and remove the fill by coming over here to fill, removing that, and then I'm just going to increase the stroke so that I can see better. Now we're going to size this up until it fits really nicely in here. And I want to create a mask. And to do that, I have this shape right here. I'm gonna hold in shift and select the photo. So both of these layers are selected. And now I just press command seven to make a mask. Then I'm gonna change the color of this to like a silver color. And I'm gonna come over to fills because if you didn't know, there are swatches. There's a library of different um, color swatches. So I can click there and if I know that I want it to look like metal, like if I want it to be silver or gold or whatever, then I can go to the metal section and they have some preset colors here that you can choose from if you want it to be metal. So I'm going to do that silver color. And now you see here, this is the Mama Claus cut file. It's also from the website. I went ahead and just pulled it in here. But all I want are the lights. So I can delete all of this. I'm not gonna use the Mama Claus part or the hat or anything like that. I just want the lights. So let's select those. We're gonna press copy or command C. And then we're gonna come back over here and paste it. And Fred, Fred wants to make, done, make known or control C if you're on a PC. Control C if you're on a PC, thank yes, you. Thank yes, you, thank you, Fred. That's valuable information. So I wanna pull this down like this. Um, first off, before I start anything, I'm seeing that this needs to be darker because the gold here does not show up very well. So let's go ahead and make that a little bit darker. Um, that looks good. And then I want to cut this off so that it kind of stops right here. Just a personal preference. To do that, I'm going to first delete these. You can just click on them and delete. And then I'm going to put a basic shape right here. And again, kind of slice off. But instead of using those Pathfinder tools, which I still can use the Pathfinder tool, I'm going to show you to use the Shape Builder tool. And all you do is hover over this part right here, hold an option and click, and then you'll do the same thing for the remainder. So there's several different ways, just like in Design Space, that you can do your designing. The only other thing that I want to do here is kind of round this out so it doesn't look so blunt. So let's grab the Curvature tool. Pull this out here. I feel like Fred's analyzing everything I say. And then I want to change the color of this light strand to this silver just because I think it pops better. Becca, you're perfect. No one's talking about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, let me make these a little bit darker too. This one? Yeah, it does. What color should I make it? Pink? Wow. Hold on. I'm getting... Stop. What color? This? That's already on there. It would be repetitive. Oh. That looks terrible. Go away. 
go away. Stop it. Oh my gosh. There, leave me alone. I'm doing that. That's a really dark bulb. It's like a black light. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving it. Um, the next thing that I want to do is pull in this file. This is a file on the website as well. And I just want to use this wording. Um, you can also put these little light strands on there if you want to, but I just want to use this. So command C to copy or control C for Fred, even though he doesn't use a PC. Huh? Well, that's sad. Just doing this to me. Who won't? Oh. I'm not sure. Oh, it's because I have my direct selection tool selected. That's why. Okay, now I'll select this and copy and paste it into this. And I want to size it down here and if you don't know, when you're sizing, if you're just dragging and dropping like this, then it's going to change the ratio. So to keep that ratio intact, hold in shift, and then you can size it like that. And then I want to change the color of it a little bit. I love how many cut files you're using. Right? I have one, two, three right now. Oh, that, I'll just repeat what Fred said. Because that was a great sentiment. He said that really speaks to the um, versatility of all of our cut files. Oh, I couldn't have Fred. said it better, Fred. Oh, couldn't have said it better. You. I'm going to make should, this a little bit smaller. <laughs> and then because I want this to pop, I mean, it looks good. The Merry Christmas looks good, but I just personally want it to pop a little bit. So I want to create an offset. And to do that, I have this selected. I'm going to come up to Object. Path and offset, and then you can decide how much of an offset you want. If you want it to be bigger, then make it like 0.5. That's too big in my opinion. Um, I liked the 0.1. Uh, decide whether you want it rounded joints or mitered. I prefer rounded in, in projects like this. Um, press OK, and then I want to change the color of this to this green color because green's my favorite color. So to do that, I'm just going to push the I button or grab the eyedropper tool over here and change the color to the same. Now, look at this right here. The offset has a couple of little holes left in it. I don't want that. So to easily fix that, you could grab your shape builder tool and do that. Or if you have a ton of those, you don't want to use your shape builder tool to do that. The easiest way to do it is to press release because this is a compound path. And when you press release, it fills in all those other things. And then you would push the Unite button on your Pathfinder tool. And so now it is exactly how you want it. So then um, this is where I would put, like, our name. So let's just grab Can you show box. how to do the offset one more time for Miss Stacy? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So with whatever selected, you can do an offset on basically anything, any of these. Object, Path, Offset Path. And then, oh, I've made a mask out of that one, so I can't. Object path, offset path, and then however big or small you want it. Rounded, mitered edges, beveled edges. Sometimes you can't tell a difference because of the way the file is. Um, but once you choose that, you just press OK. And then I'm going to grab this text box and type in the Oaks, Wayne, Becca, Beckett, Fallon, and Samuel. Samuel is not with us. I don't want to confuse anyone, but he is in the photo. Um, and then whatever font. I'm trying to think what font would look really good with this. Um, Highlight Reel would look good. Also, if you, a lot of times I like to mix fonts because we have, you know, a really hand-drawn, um, well, it is hand-drawn. I made that on Procreate, yeah. Um, then I would want to do like a good script font for the other one. So Ray um, wants to know if we have to have Illustrator to make this. No, you don't. You could do this in Design Space. 
it's just a lot quicker to do it in Illustrator. Yeah, design space will probably bog down. It will definitely bog down. And also, um, if you wanted to save this and send it to a like commercial printer, um, like Shutterfly or Miller's Photo Lab or something like that, then you can't save it with a high resolution image from Design Space. So that's there's a drawback there. Um, and you can save it high resolution here. Okay, so the oaks. And kind of pull that up. I'll create the outline. And then change the color to white. And I'm pretty much done. You can decide if you wanted like little polka dots or snowflakes or something like that on there. Um, at this point, all I'm going to do is save it. So let's press file, export, export as. And I'm going to save it right here. So Oaks Christmas card. Save it as a PNG or JPEG. Do not save it as an SVG. If you save it as an SVG, then all of um, the different layers will save as different layers, which is fine. It's just going to take a little bit to load and you don't need it that way. You just need it as a PNG. Becca. Uh, yes. <laughs> if this had legal names on it, it would be the Oaks, Samuel, Becca, Samuel, Fallon, and Samuel. <laughs> Did Fred point that out? No, I didn't. It's true. But that's what it would say. Well, no, it would say Samuel, Rebecca, Samuel, Emery, and <laughs> Samuel. Samuel. It's true. Yeah. True. Oh, man. True. Um, if you save it as an SVG, you can also not import that into the third party or commercial printers. So just save it as a PNG. Just trust me. Export. And then um, I have a low resolution because I was saving like thumbnails and stuff like that. And you can't have high resolution for that. So make sure that you have a high resolution um, selected. Press OK. And now I'm going to go into design space. And print this baby out. Oh, I saw that project that you made. Wasn't it, was it so cute? cute? It was way cuter than the inspo. Thank you, thank you. So I have this saved here. We're going to choose complex. Apply and continue. And then print and cut. And the cool thing is, if you wanted to make these smaller, you can make them smaller. Or you can keep them five by seven. Now, this is what drives me crazy about Illustrator. If you save a file and put, for instance, file, export, export as. If I were saving this as an SVG, which I can't do right now because that. Okay. Export SVG. When I put responsive, if I click responsive, then it will import into Design Space the exact same dimensions I've created. I can't, and correct me if I'm wrong, if any of you all are Illustrator gurus and know about this, I cannot figure out how to save an image as a PNG so that it imports the exact same dimensions that I have created it. It drives me crazy. That's a five by seven here. And when I import it into design space, it's 10.4 by 14.5. It makes no sense at all. Does it have what? Let me try again. I don't think so. File, export, use artboard. I wonder if that would make a difference because I made the artboard the right size. Right. Let me try it. Export. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't either. Okay, let's try that. And then cut. No. Oh. Still hates me. You're wrong this time, Fred. You're wrong. So five. We're making it five by seven. Hmm. Now, why is it telling me? Oh, so Design Space has been giving me this error. It's very interesting. I've never seen that. I uh, know. It says that um, that it's a low resolution image. You all saw it's not a low resolution image. No. And it prints fine. It says it's not going to. So it's just this weird little hiccup. Okay. Are we on the beta version still? Just, uh, it's not important. I'm just saying we might have that. Probably. Yeah. That might, I don't know. That might be. I don't Who know. Knows? 
Mm. Export as. Should I do export for screens? Scale one X, scale resolution or so width? I don't see add scale. I don't see add scale. Maybe it all assets. And it won't let me save it either for some reason. PNG format. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get down to this for you all, but just not right now. Um, okay, now go ahead and click make. Well, first of all, I'm using the Explore series. Make. We are going to print. Send a printer. Let me connect this really quickly. I'm just using a heavyweight cardstock, like 110, 120 pound cardstock, and make sure that your paper settings are correct. Um, it's currently set to letter and glossy, and it's not glossy. So let's change that to letter and plain or matte. We'll do plain. Yes. Okay. So over in Design Space, we're going to press Send to Printer, and we want to add the bleed. Just in case our printer or our machine is not calibrated well. So it will add a little bit of the extra color around and it should cut really nicely. Now we also want to use the system dialog box. So we'll press print. Underneath design space, this will pop up. So you have to minimize it. Some people do not. I think on a PC you don't have to minimize it, but you do on a Mac. It's weird. Um, media and quality. We'll be feeding from the rear tray and increasing the quality to best. You want those Christmas cards to look gorgeous. So let's print it. And then after it prints, we can come back over and cut it out. Now, you could easily cut this out with like a paper trimmer or something like that. However, if you're like me and Rachel, you can't eye it. And no matter what, it just doesn't come out right. <laughs> Don't even Rachel's particularly in bad at it. You're very good at it. I am not. <laughs> Don't even include yourself in it. Well, I just didn't, you know, I threw you under the bus about the 26 minutes oh, late. Oh, so then and you so felt bad. I try, yeah, I felt a little bad. Don't feel bad. It's I mean, I'm not going to lose fine. any sleep over it, but. Oh, I'm sure not. Yeah. Um, let me see who's here with us. Yeah, guys, While that's printing out, now is a fantastic time to tell you that if you like these cut files, if you like this education, if you like learning about Illustrator and creating your own cut files and learning how to use your Cricut and learning how to sublimate and learning anything craft related, we are here for you at Oak and Lamb. Um, went this morning to get my tea and the lady told me that she had just pulled her Cricut out of the machine and, or out of the box. It had been there for a year. And I was like, you know, I teach that for a living, right? And she was like, what? Sent her the info because she was talking about some stuff that she had had issues with. And I was like, oh. I live for this. I yes. live for these conversations. Yes. Anyway, if you want to join, now is a fantastic time to do that because we have our best promotion that we ever have. We do it every single Christmas, and you can use the code JINGLE, J-I-N-G-L-E, for $45 off the annual membership, which makes the membership $154. That's like 12-something a month crafting. Yeah. A day, it's like I spent $10 cents. on my drink this morning. Yeah. 11 I f Well, actually, by the time I tipped, it was $12. Where'd you find those? I swear I looked. I'm glad you found them. I've got so many already. Now you have more. Anyway, use that code. And um, the other cool thing about this promotion is that it grandfathers you in at that rate. So next year when your membership auto renews, it auto renews at that discounted price. And uh, what membership gets you is access to our library of cut files with free commercial use license, our member only content, our member only courses teaching you how to use your Cricut and Joy and our private Facebook group, and so much more. So click the link that Rachel, I'm sure, is sharing with you, and join. Use that code. Also, if you're a monthly member and want to go ahead and upgrade, then you can do that now. Just let us know. Now that this is printed, I'm going to place it right here. Ooh, she printed good. She did. So some, some material settings I used. Bray her on here. Now, if you're doing just a couple of cards this is the way to do it, right? Not a big deal. If you're going to be doing like 100 cards, because I, I send out about 100 cards a year, oh. this would take oh. for. 
ever. You send out a hundred cards? I do. I love it. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I'm so far behind because I don't have a family picture of us with baby P yet. And that's what I want on our Christmas card. Becca, they're going to get them for Valentine's Day at this rate. I'm having pictures taken Saturday. Oh, okay. I'm editing them Saturday. I'll have the card already made on Who's Saturday. Who's taking them? I can't tell you on live because this person is no longer an active photographer and I was sworn to secrecy. Wow. You know who it is, though. I'll okay. tell you later. Okay. Um, heavy card stock setting. <laughs> sworn to secrecy. Well, I'm trading out. I love out. how serious you're taking this. I'm though. trading out. Well, she was, used to be a photographer that did a lot of things, and she still gets asked, and she doesn't do them. But because we are friends, we are trading out. So I'm going to take pictures of her family, and she's going to take pictures of mine. Okay. Just is what it is. Oh, I get it. Anyway, all that to say, I'll order the cards on Saturday, and then Miller's Photo Lab gets them to me by Monday, and then I'll be out. Well, plenty of time to be merry and joyful. Sure, sure. Fred, you got any dad jokes? What? I asked him if he had any dad but jokes. What, no, what was his reply? He said, oh, do I have dad jokes? Fred thinks he's funny. Fred has a shirt that says, I don't know, Margo. Oh, it. gosh, I love it. I'm, well, me Five cool points to the first person who knows what movie that's from. Well, I, I don't gonna, know, I was going to give it not away. You, you're not cool. I'll wait. I don't know, Margo. <laughs> Todd. Oh, Patty, well. it seems like my hair has grown fast. But, Rachel, tell her how long. It's 40, been three, three years. Three years. <laughs> Becca, you know that is fast in three years. I don't know. Okay, this machine needs to be calibrated, so I'm really glad that I did the ad bleed. So let's take a look at this. If I had not had the ad bleed on, let's pull this off here. See how there's so much space right here? Yeah. That that is gold, and there's none right here. If the Ooh. ad bleed was not on, then that white would be showing on my card instead of this perfect card. Look at you. It's really cute. Fred, do you want me to just give you this one? One less you have to send. Uh, people are asking, how do you get on Becca's card list? Guys, if, she, if Becca could, she would send cards to every one of you. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. I'll send you a virtual card. Yeah. Well, no, I won't either. Never I can't. Mind. You can't. I can't. Sorry. It has a face in it you can't see virtually. Virtually. Uh. What? How do I win the National National Lampoons? Was she the first person who said that? I think so. She gets the gold star. Oh, Fred's giving out gold stars. Uh, me and Jason are going to the Tennessee Theater to watch The Christmas Vacation. They play it every year. Do what? Yeah, uh-huh. We're excited. Wait, what? You didn't invite me? C come. Sorry. It was... Tara and Todd, they invited us. Y'all, there's seats everywhere. I mean. Shut up. Oh, my God. I can't hear Fred's backhanded comments over there. Well, I hit him, so <laughs> it's fine. Um, Mom said that she's halfway through Baby P's quilt. Mm. I, have I shown you? No. I just wanted, I wanted like a small quilt that he will use in his infant carrier. Jan, you know that Charlie's quilt is one of my favorite things ever. Like, I've drug it every. It's it's here. It's here at the lake house. And so she's making a 30 by 40 quilt, and I just wanted it to look like patchwork. So I picked out 15. Oh, was it 15? 15, 15 different fabrics. I can't wait They're to see They're two and a half inch squares, so two inch finished. Yes, I, I do. I'll wait. show you. And then um, mom is halfway through quilting it. We, we went and bought the fabric on Monday, guys. In my heart, it's not going to be cuter than Charlie's. In my I don't heart, know, Rachel, with the bees and the, and the, I, oh, I love it. Anyway, we are finished with the project. What did you all think? Will you be making your own Christmas cards? Fred says no. Well, Gracie, I have to be honest. I invite myself to a lot of things in Rachel's life. I probably shouldn't invite no, myself no, no, to. No, 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 no. Like the day she got married. <laughs> 
You didn't invite. I did. You didn't invite yourself. No, I was like, hey, you're getting married. Can I go? <laughs> Becca, you better be glad that I didn't drag you to the courthouse as my witness. I tried to. I tried to get you to invite me to go, and then I knew there would be hurt feelings. Not. Yes, he's an ordained minister. Red should have married us. Rachel, I volunteered to do it. I volunteered to I, do it. You I, hate me. I don't. No, it's your husband. He, oh, that would have been so good. Yeah. If you renew your vows, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's for lunch? How was that hot cocoa Tuesday? I, Micah, actually, I didn't even have any I cocoa. I had hot Did cocoa you? Tuesday, and it was delicious. It was delicious. Hi, Kat. Uh, I ate a chicken sandwich for breakfast. I don't know if that counts. It's I had lunch. a um, bacon and cheese biscuit. Was that good? Was from Pals? No. From where? Chick-fil-A. I oh. also had their yogurt parfait. Oh. Was it good? It was very good. I good. hadn't had it since that. Because, you know, it used they to be like that really Greek sweet yogurt. yogurt uh -huh. And then it was like the sour cream yogurt uh -huh. that was uh -huh. disgusting. Oh, they changed it again? It's now the vanilla Greek yogurt. Oh, I can do that. Which I appreciate. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's for lunch, Fred? Fred he doesn't know. Taco truck, Fred. What was the taco truck's name? God, you Wayne couldn't was remember right. it was Casa Gambrino. No, it was a taco truck. Oh my gosh, I could have told you. <laughs> I'm having Chipotle right now. Show the pic of the quilt, Becca. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Sure, I will do that for you. Right? Leftover sloppy joes for breakfast, Kristen. No judgment here. No judgment. Let me find my mom's text I'll message. Eat anything. Mom had Becca sloppy joes. <sighs> okay, here it is. Wait, wait, wait. Let me close my text. So I'm no, going to wait. Okay. Yeah. There we you go. Just tell me. There we go. This is it. This is the back. And the backing and the binding are going to be this oh pretty my green gosh, color. Oh, my the little acorn. Right. It kind of does look like the baby maker. Oh, jeez, Becca. <laughs> Oh, for the, I keep forgetting Fred's not mic. Could you please wear a mic next time you come? Yes. Oh, He said it kind of looks like the blanket mom and dad used to have on their bed. <laughs> and it was a velvet blanket that oh. were, it was these colors. And it was patchwork like this. And we called it the baby maker <laughs> quilt. <laughs> I don't know why. It has now been cut up and made into tree skirts. That has struck me. I've been struck. I can't. You're allowed to never say that again. I mean, not to be graphic, but all of us were conceived there. I, you know, <laughs> we're just that kind of the baby family, I guess. You know, oh, oh, Becca, that's like from the proposal. Remember when the grandma comes in, she puts put this <laughs> quill down? <laughs> Listen, I love Sandra Bullock. She's one of my favorites. I love that. She's so funny. Anyway. Ryan Reynolds, yes. Oh, he's my he favorite. Is he is funny. All right. We'll, we'll go back to Becca's pretty face. Thank you. Rachel, they like my hat, which makes me think that we should have some oak and lamb hats. Uh, Listen, like maybe need, just like this, but oak and lamb. I'm all logo for a beanie. It. I'm all for a beanie. Look at my hair. I'm trying to see if these, have, this one's been sewn on too. It's not just. Oh, your hair looks really good without the hat if you want to just leave it off. <laughs> well, then I'll just do that and sew it on. You look well, like I could make I could make one out of the leather I just gave you. I look what? Give it back. Nothing. You look beautiful. It, I mean, it was flat to begin with, which is why I, I washed my hair last night and went to. Well, it's clean. That's all it matters. Went to sleep with it wet. It'll do it. While you were sleeping was the best too. Who is the infamous Fred? Fred is my brother. He's my oldest brother. He's seven years older than me. Um, oh, seven and a half years older than me. No, six and a half. Dad gummit. I always think Ben is the older one. That's because you're not around him much. I I always think Ben is older than Fred. I've never been able to put. And you know, the first time that was it Ben or Fred? The first time Ben was walking up, I'd never met him before, and he was walking up to the studio door, and I wasn't even worried because like people from the public would just walk in all the time, but I literally saw his face, and I'm like, that is a Myers face. That is a Myers face. It's gotta be. It's gotta be Becca's brother. Yeah. But a lot of people know. think that me and Ben are the twins. Really? Uh, he does look like you. I don't know who Fred looks like. Mom. Actually, not mom. Mom's family. Okay. Oh, and Albini. Yes, Crystal. We need to do this. That would be good. Do a tutorial on the hat. We could do that. 
Oh, he's definitely a Cinesac. Yeah. He looks like the Cinesac. Um, this is a great question. I have a question. Do you guys love the Explore 3 over any of the other Cricut machines? Rachel, would you like to answer that for me? I do. Because I don't sew or do a lot of felt work and things like that. So I love the genuine reliability of the Explore 3. That's my favorite machine that's on the market. Becca, uh, because she does a lot with fabric, she does a lot with felt, she needs that rotary blade and that only comes with the adaptive tool system of the maker series machines so becca would pick a maker or a maker three that's true yeah I, not for any of the other adaptive tools either like i don't care yeah, necessarily else. about Just, the scoring style yeah. or scoring wheel or the engraving like i i don't use any of that even the knife blade i hate the knife blade but the rotary yeah. blade alone for me i uh -huh. i cut felt all the time with right. it. And yeah. see, I don't. And, and again, we're just different crafters. So it just depends on what crafts you think you might want to make. Now, if you don't want to be limited at all in the future, just go ahead and get the Maker 3. Uh, if Which is not, not the top-of-the-line machine. Correct. Now if the money's not an is. object and you can afford it, go ahead. But uh, I personally, I love the Explore 3. Yeah. Um. I love my Explorer, but it... I hate... There's a heart here, and I can't read Mary's comment. It is the first one. <laughs> Why are we harding our own video? It's not. It's just that the button is pressing. Well, no, I can hard it. Oh, no, I just harded it. I don't like it. You can do cool oh. stuff with the perforation blade. Kristen, I believe it, but I've only used it once. You're going to get a free lot of that kind of stuff. <laughs> Rachel is terrified. He's going to get us demonetized. If I say a bad word, she's like, oh. We're gonna get flagged. I'm like, he was like, somebody, somebody needs to get shot. And I'm like, oh, Fred, listen, this is a family channel. I said something about shanking somebody on Facebook the other day, and my comment got flagged. He was totally joking. I do. I never think that Fred is the oldest. Right? Ben has a full head of hair. Hey. He went, hey. He's not he's not ball Becca. It's just it's I crazy. have the maker and I'm considering getting the Explore 3 still on the fence. So let me know why are you considering getting the Explore 3? Do you just need a second machine to increase productivity or you, you got the you got the good one. You got yeah. the one with the rotary blade. If you do need a second machine just for increasing productivity and you're only cutting vinyl and things like that, absolutely well, drive the I Explore. I mean just to be honest, see if you can find a Cricut Explore Air 2 that's cheaper cuz I love the Explore Air 2 as well. That's a wonderful machine. The only reason I say it's Explore a heavier 3 machine too. is because uh, it's the one that you can like buy the most easily. But any of the Explore machines I love. I love AI, by the way. The new AI feature, the new generative fill in Photoshop. Now, sometimes it looks ridiculous, but the picture that I'm using for our Christmas card this year, the kids, I'll have to show you the before and after. It's insane. It's pretty cool. Like what I did with uh -huh. Charlie, yeah. No one believes that was a background. It's insane. It's insane. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for being here with us. Thanks for being flexible with our late start sorry guys apparently it was all my fault remember to join the membership if you haven't already using that code jingle j-i-n-g-l-e let us know if you have any questions you can email us hello at oakenlam.com if you do and we will see you all next week